Today, the world is facing the biggest food crisis since World War II. The pandemic and climate change have already disrupted food supplies, but Russia's war in Ukraine has made it all worse. Before the conflict began, some three dozen countries relied on Russia and Ukraine for more than half of their wheat imports. The two countries also produced roughly 75 percent of the world's sunflower oil, a common cooking oil around the globe. The impact of the war is global and systemic. As many as 1.7 billion people, one third of whom are already living in poverty, are now highly exposed to disruptions in food, energy and finance systems that are triggering increases in poverty and hunger. But not everyone is feeling the impact of this crisis equally. In the United Kingdom, fish and chip shop owners are getting battered by high costs and uncertainty about the sourcing of their fish. Andrew Crook has been in the industry for 22 years, ever since his parents opened up the Chippy in the city of Preston near Manchester. We're experiencing a, a massive increase in, in, the, in the cost of oil. Our fish has already doubled because of the post-pandemic inflation. Uh, we're still waiting for the tariff that, that's been announced to be uh, introduced on, on Russian white fish. Known as a cheap and hearty meal that's high in protein and calories, fish and chips has long been a staple food for the British working class. In fact, during World War II, when the government was rationing tea, butter and meat, fish and chips was spared in order to make sure that the country's factory workers were well fed for the war effort. Crook now runs his own shop, the Skippers of Exton, and heads the UK's National Federation of Fish Fryers. He's already seen many fish and chips shops close, and he worries that over the next nine months, fully a third of them could go out of business entirely. While people's livelihoods in wealthy countries are under pressure from this global crisis, it is hitting the world's most vulnerable even harder. <laughs> Yemen, a country already reeling from a brutal civil war, COVID, cholera, and a blockade of its ports, saw food prices rise by 170 percent last year. And one third of the country's wheat imports come from Ukraine. There's around uh, 17 million people that are going to bed hungry. That means mother that will skip meal to make sure that their children can eat properly. We're very often on the brink of a famine. And what we know is that when there's a famine, it's already too late and there's a lot of people that are starving. Experts say that to get out of this food crisis, the international community must work together to lower trade barriers for food and reopen Ukraine's ports. In the meantime, all around the world, billions remain unsure of where their next meal will come from and how much it may cost. For G Zero World, I'm Alex Clement.